Hello, this is Dr. Gandhi. Welcome to my video on creating a histogram using Microsoft Excel. For this demonstration, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 2016, which has a built-in chart for histogram. In earlier versions of Excel, there is a way to create a histogram, and I cover that in another video. So looking in this worksheet, you see I have two columns, degree, which is an independent variable, and minutes of study. So let's presume that this represents the average number of minutes studied per week for several different degree programs, for several undergraduate programs, several masters, and several doctoral level programs. And it ranges from just 18 minutes all the way up to 299 minutes. And we would like to see how this data would be represented in a histogram. So if I select cell A1 and then control A, and it selects the current region. So in this case, all the data contained in columns A and B. On the top ribbon, I'll move to insert. And then under charts, I want to select insert statistic chart and click the down arrow and then histogram. So you can see by default uh, I have five bins. In this case the bin width is 63. So 1881, 81 to 144 and so on. Also notice that this just represents the minutes of study. The degree programs are not represented here. So I'm going to resize this chart to make it a bit more visible. And at the top here you can see chart styles. I move to one with a black background and I'm going to delete this chart title. And then to the right you see you have the plus sign and then the paintbrush. Under uh, the paintbrush you have style and color so I could have also changed the style from here. I'm going to go to color and change this to green. So by default, we have the five bins, uh, but say that we don't want uh, five bins. Say that the bin width of 63 uh, is not the way we want to see these data displayed in the histogram. We can go to Format Plot Area, and there are Plot Area options we can change to Horizontal Category Axis. And you can see we have uh, the color options, fill in line. Then we have effects, but we're interested here in axis options. So we'll click axis options here. And you can see that you have automatic, which is set by default, but you can also set the number of bins. Right, so say we wanted eight bins, it's eight and enter. And now you can see the histogram has eight bins, eight bars. Uh, we can also set the bin width. Now if we're looking at minutes of study, a logical bin width would be 30 for 30 minutes. So 30 and enter. And now the bars are configured with the bin width set at a half hour, 30 minutes. So with this type of histogram, again we're looking at just the minutes of study. We're not looking at the independent variable, but just the minutes of study variable which in this case was the dependent variable. But if we want to display this information by category, we just go up and select the By Category option button. And now you can see you have the frequencies divided up uh, by undergraduate, master's level, and doctoral level. So I'm going to move this back to a bin width of 30. So 30, Enter. And you can see that the bars do not have a data label, so we don't know the exact value just by looking. Now if we uh, scroll over it, we can see the value, like for example here for 0.4, the value is 8. So A of the scores were between 108 and 138. But to get it to display, we could go to a Quick Layout and select the layout that has the value inside the bar. So again I'm going to go ahead and delete 
the chart title itself. And then go back and select these frequencies and you can see you can edit them from the format data labels. I'm going to move to label options. You see I have number and then the label options here. So in this case I want these values to appear outside the end of the bar. So I just click the outside end option button and now the frequencies are on top of each bar. And then if you want to add a little space between each of the bars in the histogram, you go up to series minutes of study and over to series options and you can change the gap width here. So I'm just going to add a little bit to separate out bars, which is really just a matter of personal preference um, in terms of whether you believe it makes it more readable or not. You can change that gap size uh, from default, which has them touching, to something like this or, or even a wider gap. Another important note is that here in the top left, you can add the elements right from this menu, including like the chart title, of course, that I deleted. But you can just scroll over and see what it would look like. And the same thing for data labels. I have it outside end, but it can also be inside base, inside end, or centered. And grid lines. So there's a lot of options that you can just test out by scrolling over here on this menu option. I hope you found this video on creating a histogram using Microsoft Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.